So, uh, have you enjoyed your first day at the firm, Sonia? Yeah, weren't bad. Here, does that Mr. Bennett touch everyone up? Oh, I don't think so, Sonia. Never laid a finger on me. Oh, <laughs> you silly sod. <laughs> I wanted a large one. I've never had any complaints, Sonia. <laughs> Oh, I just don't believe it. I think it's broken. I hope not. I'm a vandal. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's been a long time. Must be almost five years. Five years and three months, I guess. Is it that long? I'm surprised you remember me. Oh, I can never forget you, Vincent. You've always been unique. Huh. <laughs> You're the only bastard who ever jilted me. <laughs> I work for an advertising agency in Park Lane. Have you ever heard of Matthew Stiles and Lieberman? Uh, yes, I think I've got a couple of their OPs at home. <laughs> Still driving uh, the ice cream van, are you? Uh, no, I uh, gave it up a long time ago. I'm an accountant now. Oh, an accountant? You mean people actually trust you with their money? Oh, yes. I steal some of it sometimes. <laughs> Only as a first resort, though. Absolutely. So what sort of accountant are you? Chartered? Turf. <laughs> well, I can't stand anything like that. Needles and injections. Oh, there was no discomfort. But didn't you feel a prick? Well, I felt a bit foolish. There's <laughs> <laughs> something I ought to tell you. Things are kind of different with me now. You're not a man, are you? Don't look at me like that, please. How sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless child. Shakespeare. King Lear. Shakespeare. <laughs> Come on, Daphne. Did you or did you not take my daughter's most precious gift? If you're talking about that Morris Marnie you bought her for her birthday. But me, please. Well, quite a coincidence, you being here this evening, I saw your mother this morning coming out of Halfords. <laughs> have an iron lung with her by any chance. A what? She's up and down, you know. I bet she is, Vince. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's nice, isn't it? It's all right. <laughs> Rather large for a small one, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly, Ben, you'll have me blushing. I checked in. You made it abundantly clear you wanted no part of my future, so please, just, just stay out of my past. As far as you're concerned, I could have had affairs with the entire Tottenham Hotspur football team. I could explain their recent form. It's your girlfriend. No, we're, uh, we're just good friends. Right, do you fancy a quick one? Thank you. Oh, all right, well, we'll have a drink first. <laughs> Some accounts coming then, Vinci. A lovely Stan, my compliments to the chef. Okay. They're not that bad. <laughs> Stanley, these books have got more fiddles than the London Philharmonic. <laughs> <laughs> well, carry on. This is a businesswoman. Businesswoman? Those people might think I'm a hooker. Oh, don't worry about it, Tom. There's loads of them around here. Sit <laughs> yourself down. Eddie Brown's two of accountants. Sorry? Uh, no, madam, you've got the wrong place. Uh, try the garden centre. Yeah, that's perfectly all right. My pleasure. Bye. Margaret? Margaret? Who's Margaret? Stan's wife. What are you doing with his diary? <laughs> what have you been doing with yourself today, hmm? Well, I've been window shopping. Yeah. Yeah, looking for new bedding, that sort of thing. Pity the army surplus store has closed down, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I imagine you must miss it terribly, Daphne. <laughs> That's the same recipe as the wedding cake, you know. Really? Mmm, very nice. We should have turned up now. <laughs> well? Yes, thank you. I want you to forget what happened the other weekend. Why, what happened? It was just one of those things, an isolated incident. It's like that film, simply Saturday night and Sunday morning. And Sunday afternoon. Forget it! <laughs> what? Tell me. All right, then. If 
if you're going to be childish about it, his name was Graham Pratt. <laughs> <coughs> What's so funny? Who's laughing? <laughs> so, uh, you were Mrs. Pratt? This is, um, Pratt. What about it? Oh, nothing. It's just that I can't imagine you as Mrs. Pratt. For your information, Zonko, six months after we were married, Graham changed his name by depot to Perry. What? Perry Pratt? <laughs> Didn't the other weekend mean anything to you? Forgotten all about that thing. <laughs> Feeling one degree under, are we, sir? <laughs> oh, I'm just pissed off, sir. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Here's a kiss, Daphne. Get it out of my sight. Yes, come on. Let's get you upstairs to bed. Oh, not bed again, Pen. <laughs> Your evil way with me tonight, Pen. <laughs> this the one, Vince? Oh, yes, that's the one, thank you. Well, uh, good night, Mr. Warrender. Good night, Vincent. Night, Pen. Night, Vince. <laughs> Don't say anything stupid. Are you totally for an idiot or something? <laughs> this is Vince. Vince Graham. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I suppose it must be. <laughs> you got anything like a hamburger? I'm afraid not. Have you ever tried fennel a la grec? Only once, and I was up all night with it. I'm a vegan. Well, you'd never guess it. Do you know what a vegan is, Vince? Well, of course he knows what a vegan is. Don't you, Vince? Absolutely. I never missed an episode of Star Trek. <laughs> Graham. Take good care now. So, well, where is he, Vincy? <laughs> His bottle went. <laughs> she loves me, Pin. But what about me? She's never met you, but I think you get on like that. <laughs> Shall we have a dance? Don't be silly, it's only the two of us here. Well, I didn't mean a formation dance, Pin. <laughs> We've got to spend the night in here. I don't know, Pen. Let's have a search round so we can find a bed. Hello. All right. I won't keep you a moment. Take your clothes off and lie on the couch. <laughs> oh, it's you, Pen. Vince. I'm pregnant. Well, say something. Congratulations. <laughs> Excuse me, no smoking. I'm not smoking. You have a cigarette in your mouth. Well, it shoes on my feet, but I'm not walking. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy told me a story last night. She'll never let you grow up, will she? 